Hello, E is for Earth. In The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, Earth was described initially as harmless, but the character Ford Prefect managed to change it a little before getting stuck on Earth. Mostly harmless was his update, which provoked a very upset reaction from Arthur Dent when heard. In fact, those two words are not what Ford submitted as a result of his research, merely all that was left after the editors were done with it. Earth, as you probably know, is the third planet from the Sun, and the largest of the terrestrial planets are in not gaseous ones. And surprisingly, while it's only the fifth largest planet in terms of size and mass in the solar system, it is the densest of the planets. It's the only planet in the solar system not named after a mythological being. Instead, its name is derived from the old English word Earther, and the Anglo-Saxon word Erda, which means ground or soil. It is not a figment of your imagination, the days are getting longer. The rotation of the Earth is gradually slowing down. The deceleration of the Earth's rotation is actually very slow, approximately 17 milliseconds per 100 years. And eventually this will lengthen our days, but it will take around 140 million years before our day will have increased from 24 to 25 hours. Since we started launching rockets, there are more than 100 million pieces of junk orbiting Earth at about 17,000 miles per hour. Some say that you'd be very unlucky to be struck by lightning twice and that it never strikes the same place twice, but lightning strikes the Earth 8.6 million times per day. Mark Twain once said, The trouble ain't that there is too many falls, but the lightning ain't distributed right. 70% of the Earth's surface may be covered by water, but W.C. Fields once said, I never drink water, that is the stuff that rusts pipes. Too much of the greenhouse effect is detrimental to human life, but without some greenhouse effect, Earth's global temperature would be zero degrees Fahrenheit, minding minus 18 degrees Celsius, rather than about 59 degrees, 15 degrees Celsius. Jimmy Kimmel said, there's no debate about the greenhouse effect, just like there's no debate about gravity. If someone throws a piano off the roof, I don't care what Sarah Palin tells you, get out of the way, because it's coming down on your head. If you want to weigh less, go to the equator. A person who weighs 150.8 pounds at the North Pole weighs just 150 pounds at the equator. This is because the pull of gravity is stronger at the poles. Of course, as Douglas Adams said, gravity is a lie. The Earth sucks. Earth has one of the most circular orbits of all the eight planets, and a year lasts just over 365 days, actually a quarter of a day over 365 days, which is why we have a leap year every four years. Winston Churchill once said, a politician needs the ability to foretell what's going to happen tomorrow, next week, next month, and next year, and to have the ability afterwards to explain why it didn't happen. Yellowstone National Park is actually a huge volcano, its most recent eruption was before humans lived, and it hurled ash all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. Most of the time, of course, volcanoes are dormant. It may not surprise you that most volcanologists die in bed. The Earth's plates move just a few inches a year, about as fast as a person's fingernails grow. And this continental pattern predicts that 250 million years from now, a new supercontinent will be born. Monty Python sang a song, the Galaxy Song, which explained, amongst other things, that the planet was revolving at about 900 miles an hour. It's in fact revolving at just over 1,000 miles an hour. And the Earth is orbiting the Sun at about 67,000 miles an hour. I'm not sure what the rush is, it's not like it's trying to get anywhere. And the tallest mountain on Earth? Well, it's either Mount Everest or Mauna Kea. Mount Everest is of course higher above sea level than the summit of any other mountain, extending some 29,029 feet. However, when measured from its true base below sea level to its summit, Mauna Kea takes the prize, measuring nearly twice the height of Everest. W.H. Auden said, We are all here on Earth to help others. What on Earth the others are here for, I don't know. Oscar Wilde, on the other hand, determined that the world is a stage, but that the play is badly cast. Abraham Lincoln once said, My dream is of a place and a time where America will once again be seen as the last best hope of Earth. And Groucho Marx, though, said, I read in the newspapers they're going to have 30 minutes of intellectual stuff on television every Monday from 7.30 to 8 to educate America. They couldn't educate America if they started at 6.30. I'll leave you with this thought from C.S. Lewis. 
Let's pray that the human race never escapes from Earth to spread its iniquity elsewhere. That's all for this week. Goodbye.